I've been holding off getting a new phone because my sister is gonna get a new phone and I'm trying to inherit her. Now, it looks decent. I went with the cheapest screen I could find on eBay. You can press it too hard and make it do crazy things. The touch sensitivity is really, really off. The inside of my pocket will attempt to unlock the phone so many times that it will disable the phone. When I take it out of my pocket, it says iPhone is disabled. Try again in 15 minutes. That's a big inconvenience. Other times, it will have one of the buttons halfway pressed for me in some weird way. Like there's like a, a finger touching the screen even when I'm not. You'll go to type in like M, it will hit the space bar instead of hitting M. Every single time you wipe the phone on your shirt and try to get whatever's on it off of it, it just... It's on its third battery. This battery lasts about half of the day. It doesn't just turn off though. That would be great if it just turned off. Once it hits about 14%, it just starts going really, really slow. I mean, to the point where it's almost frozen. Sometimes I get a phone call, I go to answer it, and I'm swiping, swiping, and it's not registering. The only thing to do is ignore it with the sleep button, and then when it resets, then I can open it up. This is not the part of the video where I tell you I'm going to the Apple store to buy a new phone. It's definitely not the part of the video where I tell you that I'm going to buy a non-iPhone phone. And I choose another phone. Now most of these are broken and four parts, but this one is a perfectly good working iPhone 6. It's dead. But the reason I haven't used it is because this is a 6, that's a 6S, and I like force touch. You know, where you can hold the screen harder. Everyone knows what force touch is. It's This phone also has a replacement front camera, rear camera, ambient light sensor, and proximity sensor. However, the ambient light sensor, which is what detects the uh, ambient light, doesn't work. Bonjour. I, I don't know what that says. We're in business. It's working. Uh, let's let the gaffer taping begin. Half the phone is gaffed. Here's my old phone, they look the same. This screen was so horribly unresponsive. Do not buy $30 iPhone screens. Whew. I mean, it made it feel like some cheap knockoff phone. This feels amazing. Sometimes to work on an iPhone, you can use homemade makeshift tools. Like to get the SIM card out, I'm gonna use this paper clip. To get the screen off, you can take out the screws and use a guitar pick or a credit card or something to that effect except for this little screw at the bottom these two screws they are called a pentalobe meaning five lobed screwdriver so when they look like Torx they're not Torx these two sim card trays are interchangeable so I could just take in one out and put in the other but that is that's like a superstition I would never want to mix a sim card tray Please stand by while I wait for this phone to charge a little bit. This is amazing. I feel like I'm reviewing the first iPhone ever. I mean, when you type letters on a keyboard, it feels great. I can't believe I wasted so much time with that piece of... Let's talk about that drawer full of iPhones. So what happens is when I have a friend or someone that gets rid of their own phone, I say, hey, if they're not trading it in, I say, can I have that, buy that, whatever? I never buy them. Usually they're broken. This one fell in water. I put a new battery in it because the battery was working, but eventually exploded inside the phone. It's been working ever since. It looks brand new.